Hello, and welcome to ShipU Stats. In this video, we're going to go over how to calculate a measurement of kurtosis in JAST. Kurtosis is the extent to which your data is either heavily peaked or heavily in the tails of your distribution. And this can sometimes be an issue when your data needs to be normally distributed for a particular statistical test. To calculate our measurement of kurtosis, we'll go ahead and click on descriptives. We'll move over the variable that we're interested in getting this measurement for. We'll click on statistics, and then we'll click on kurtosis down here. Once we've done that, we'll end up with two results here. The first is our kurtosis statistic, and the second is the standard error of that statistic. Both of these are going to be important when you write up your results in APA format. For our measurement of kurtosis, if it's at zero, this means there's no kurtosis at all. If it's positive, that means it's leptokurtic, which means it's heavily peaked. If it's negative, that means it's platykurtic, meaning it's heavy in the tails. As for the cutoffs, most people will say anything above 1 or below negative 1 is excessively kurtotic. However, there's different definitions in the literature, and I provided some citations for that. Alright, thanks for watching this short video on kurtosis in JASP.